In this video, I'm going to go over how to implement insertion sort in C. So insertion sort is an algorithm that allows us to sort an array of elements. The array could be made up of integers, floats, doubles, even characters. It doesn't really matter what it is, but it's going to allow us to sort that list. And the way the insertion sort algorithm works is like in this animation here. We start off with a left-hand side of the list that we're going to say is sorted and a right-hand side of the list that we're going to say is unsorted. Now, initially, that left-hand side of the list is going to be just the first element. But what we're going to do is we're going to continually look at the next element in the right-hand side of the list. And we're going to continually take that element and place it in the right position in the left-hand side of the list. So here we'd take this one and we would continually shift over elements until the one is in the right position on the left-hand side of the list for that list to be sorted. In the case of the eight here, we don't really have to do any shifting because the eight is already in the right position. But the seven, when we look at that element, it's going to have to be placed in between the six and the eight. So eight's going to have to shift over. And then we look at the two next, and the two is going to have to be placed in between the one and the three. And so, you know, we're going to have to shift over a number of elements here to place it in the correct position. And then on and on with four. And as we do this, we're continually inserting the right element into the right position in the in the list there and so that's why we call it insertion sort because we're continually inserting the element into the right position of the list so here we just insert the four between the three and the five and then we have a sorted array there so let's actually implement this algorithm now in c so first thing we're gonna have to make is an array we'll say int a is equal to we'll make an array here we'll say maybe eight four nine five seven six and then maybe three three and maybe and so how many elements do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight elements there. And then we'll make a function to implement the algorithm. So we'll say void insertion sort. It'll accept an array as an argument and a length of that array as an argument. And then we'll provide a definition of the function down here. So down here, we'll define the function. And the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have two loops. We're going to have an outer loop that's going to be looking at each element in this array one at a time. And then the inner loop is going to be focused on shifting that element over to the right position in the left-hand portion of the array that remains. So we'll say here for int i is equal to 1, i is less than length, i++. plus plus. We're starting i off at 1 here because we don't really need to look at this first element in the array. Things only get interesting at this element onwards, right? Because this element just on its own is kind of sorted by default. It's an element, it's just one element, right? So it's sorted by default. We have to look at this element though, because we have to place this at the right position between these two elements. And then same thing for all the elements onward. So that's why we kind of skip over the first one here by starting off with i is equal to one. And then we'll say here int key is equal to a at i. So we're gonna keep track of the element that we're currently looking at. And then we're gonna start off j at i minus one. So we're going to start looking from here on over, right? So if we're looking at this element next, we're going to look at here on over. You know, if we're looking at this element next, j is starting off at here on over. And then this inner loop is going to do the shifting. So the inner loop is going to handle the shifting. So here we're going to say while j is still greater than or equal to zero and the array at position j is greater than the key, then set a at j plus 1 equal to a at j and continue to subtract 1 from j. So this is doing the shifting. This is where we're saying like, so long as we're still not at the start of the list and so long as this element is greater than the key, we want to make space. We want to continually shift over these elements. We're, this is where we're doing the shifting as we're saying, well, so long as the element we're looking at currently with J is greater than the key. In other words, the key still has to be placed over from where this element is shift over. So set AJ plus one equal to AJ. And this is going to do the shifting of elements over. And then the last thing we need to do is the insertion. So at this point, when J is greater than or equal to zero, but A at J is no longer greater than the key. So A at J is no longer greater than the key at that point. At that point, we've found where the key belongs and we've shifted elements over, right? So at this point, we're going to say that A at J plus one is equal to the key. So that's where we're going to actually insert the value then is at that point. Okay, so let's call this function now and we'll give it a test. So we'll say here insertion sort 
a, we'll call it with a length of eight because there's eight elements in the array. And then we'll print out the elements just that way we kind of see the effect of the sorting to make sure it works. So we'll just make a quick little loop here to just print out the elements of the array here. So I'm gonna output i and a at i. And I'm just kind of outputting it in a nicely formatted way here with like, this is the array that the element we're looking at is equal to, and here's the value we're looking at. And then I'm outputting the index and the value at that index, just so that we can kind of see what the array looks like. So we'll do a compilation here. And then we run it. And you see that we have our sorted array here. And that is how we can implement insertion sort in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.